When I talk about the great responsibility that the new leaders have, I do it with hope and optimism because I believe, I am sure, that you will be up to these challenges. I believe in this generation of extraordinary men and women because you are not motivated by hate and prejudice. You are prepared to question old ideologies and old methods, to open your hearts, open your minds to new possibilities. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. And I truly believe in your ability to reverse the wrong decisions, the corrupt practices, and the indifference that have brought so much frustration and despair. As long as there, is, uh, there are will and determination, any problem, any conflict can be solved. And I have a good example. It is a story that gave meaning to my life and that has me standing before you today. The story of how we manage to make possible the impossible. In Colombia, for more than half a century, we suffered an armed conflict between the state and the oldest and strongest guerrillas in the Western Hemisphere known as the FARC. A brutal conflict that left more than 250,000 dead and more than 8 million victims. We had the highest rates of killings, kidnappings, and displaced people in the whole world. For decades, all my predecessors tried to end this cruel war to no avail. As Minister of Defense and as President for the last 12 years, I led the actions of our armed forces to deliver the greatest blows these guerrillas had ever received. We took down their number one, their number two, and 37 of their commanders. But I was aware that the solution could not be the extermination of the enemy. True peace, lasting peace, the one that tempers our hearts and souls and heals the wounds can only be achieved through dialogue, negotiation, and reconciliation. After all, we will all have to live together because we are, are all sons of the same nation. From being an effective war maker, a hawk, I had to become a pacifier, a dove, a change that is difficult to understand. So I was called a traitor. But there is no contradiction here. Sometimes you need to wage war to make peace. I was a hawk because circumstances required it. But I always knew, as I said to the soldiers of our army, that the real victory, the only victory, the ultimate victory is peace. And we made it after Six years of tough negotiations, we signed a peace agreement that ended the last and longest internal armed conflict in the Western Hemisphere. 